Hello everyone, and welcome back to World of Warships Blitz with Terry. Today we're doing something slightly different. Um, I have asked in uh, in the past which tier you think is the most the hardest to play with all the premiums around, and about half of you said it's tier seven. I know that a lot of you said that because of the, the terrible carriers, <laughs> premium carriers at tier seven. But I'm not a good carrier player, and I'm not gonna go in an independence up against against the Saipan or Kargas. No way. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a free-to-play ship, uh, which is, you know, you don't have to pay any money to get, with no historical camos, no premium stuff, no one whatsoever. And um, it's the Brooklyn, the American Tier 7 light cruiser. Now I'm going to play this in bottom tier and see what I can do when faced with premium ships in on the enemy team, and in general to see... How much can you, of an impact can you have on a battle in a non-premium ship in a tier that is highly infested with premiums? Now, why is, uh, why is tier 7 so bad? Well, I think it's a little trickle-down effect. So in tier 10, you can't obviously be bottom tier because tier 10 is the last tier. So all, all tier 10 games will always have tier 10s in them and some tier 9s. Which means that uh, the tier nines have somewhat of a chance of well being in a tier ten game, and the tier eights will then get more get to be more in the tier seven games. You know what I mean? There's a higher chance for tier nines to be not in not top tier because they will be always bottom tier in a tier ten game. If that makes any sense. So there's a little pull there um, to have tier seven games more often than not, have tier 8s in them. Anyway, uh, the Brooklyn. So, uh, why, why the Brooklyn? Well, the Brooklyn is a useful ship. She's not super overpowered. She's not necessarily dominating. Uh, she's a good ship. She's no Cleveland. And the step, I think, between the Brooklyn and the Cleveland is a massive one. But she's still a good tier 7, and she can still be useful to the team. So, this is my... Brooklyn in my account with um, with a uh, tier seven captain uh, with a level seven captain in it, and um, I'm just going to do free to play things, no premiums, no historical camos, no things that would cost money. This is a ship that everybody can can have for free. So let's see what you can do. In the first game, we are obviously bottom tier because the, those are the rules, and we are up against a. Um, against an Enterprise and a Maya premium ships on the enemy team. Enterprise obviously being a premium carrier. And uh, other than that, there are a couple of tier 7s obviously in the enemy team as well, but there's an Amagi, uh, a Shores, a Kagero, so all manner of all manner of things. And by the looks of the leagues, the, uh, the enemy team might be having a bit of a heads up because we do have three League 1 players on our side. Oh, well, let's see, let's see where we're getting up to. There is a North Carolina, uh, who is called Republic, which confuses the crap out of me. <laughs> but <laughs> uh, that's, a, that's, by the looks, a very capable player as well. So let's see where we're spawning. And let's see what we can get up to in this battle here. We are spawning on the western flank. And obviously with just one destroyer in the enemy team, but with a tier 8 premium carrier. We, well, I'm, what am I going to do in the Brooklyn? Well, I'm going to guard. I don't have a radar. That comes with the Cleveland. But I do have Hydros and I have the defensive AA. Now, the Brooklyn's AA is nowhere near Cleveland levels. Especially, the, the most powerful is the, is the, uh, the okay. short-range AA. But, well, it's short-range. So, let's see what we can get up to as a bottom-tier light cruiser. Well, first, the enemy carrier seems to be uh, going straight line down. And I'm just going to go ahead a little bit and scout. First, first of all, this gives me island cover. And second of all, uh, if the destroyer is somewhere here, um, then I can do something about it. But I'm not spotted. So I'm just waiting for the for the North Carolina to catch up. Hello. And yes, it's a North Carolina. It's not a republic. <laughs> and now I'm spotted. Okay, so there's something out here. And it's actually not a destroyer, it's the Maya. So full on reverse and out with a high explosive. Now Maya has torpedoes, so um, Hydra up, just so we can spot the torpedoes coming. And we're not necessarily spotting for ourselves, we're spotting for the North Carolina as well. 
So now I'm in hard cover. The Maya is going in cover. North Carolina points out yet. Um, uh, po points out priority target. Okay, there should be torpedoes round about now coming around if the North, uh, the Maya was firing. Now uh, Carrier is is joining in the fun as well. Yep, I know. Uh, we're, we're going after this guy. He doesn't seem to have fired torpedoes, so no panic torpedoes from the Maya. Uh, congratulations on keeping your nerves there. And uh, he was probably trying to do a stealth run on the NC and he didn't know that I was here as well. Okay, Gneisen now comes there as well. Uh, and uh, let's start. We don't have anything to shoot at. Start. Okay, I've spotted the torpedoes, so NC shouldn't take too many of them. I'm just staying... I'm just... Yep, yeah, he's, he's bow in, so that should not be too bad. I'm just staying here in order to... Uh, in order to provide air cover, because there comes the enemy carrier. So now we've got the two tier 8 premiums against us. Okay, Maya, are you coming around the corner? Are you? Are you? I'm spotted, so... Oh, there you are. Okay, hello. And, um... I'm just... Uh, I'm, I'm getting carrier focused as well. So, uh, at this point, uh, single fire, don't care. Now, I do have to dodge Gneisenau shots. Double fire, I do care. Uh, I do have to dodge Gneisenau shots, and I have to... Um, yes, I know. <laughs> you're, you're pinging me here. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry I'm a little busy, I have to dodge torpedo bombers because uh, I don't want to get set on flood because I just used my damage con and I'm getting shot at by everybody. So I think we managed to get all the planes shot down. Yeah, we managed to get all the planes shot down. So yeah, give me those fighter planes. I'm gonna take the, I, I, I'll take those and he die. And um, just get myself under this. Uh, double fire on the Gneiser now, so he's gonna damage con that. If, yeah, uh, can I lob this? Uh, no, I can't. But. Um, uh, I can murder those fighter planes, and there come some more dive bombers. So I'm keeping the I'm keeping the North Carolina between myself and uh, and the incoming airplanes because he's got a better AA than me, and my uh, defensive AA is current is currently on cooldown. And uh, Maya is coming under under air, air attack as well. So it's two carriers and and uh, and two cruisers and two battleships <laughs> against each other. Okay, Maya is running. So let's see if we can get the Gneisen now killed. And I'm still under under carrier focus. They are dodging some Maya shots. There are probably torpedoes in the way again. Gneisenau is out of torpedo range. Yep, there are the Maya torps. And um, we do need to... Yeah, Maya is running for it. So um, we do need to kill the... We do, let's kill the Gneisenau. And uh, make sure that uh, that I'm not getting killed by the carrier. Because again, tier 8 carrier. And I'm on bottom tier, but my defensive AA is up. Um, breaking out the, uh, the torpedo plane. So I'm only taking one here. Can heal up again and forward again, and then there comes some more Maya shots. Okay, Gneisen now. Yes, we need to kill the Gneisen now. Agreed. Uh, put her in reverse, and I'm uh, keeping the battleship between myself and the Gneisen now. Okay, we got him. All right then. Um, there's uh, there's the Maya again. So he's air spotted. Uh, gotcha. And uh, he's on relatively low health, but I am still getting dropped by the carrier. Not gonna damage con a single fire, but triple fire I will. And now I do need to I do need to see if I can hide a little bit here because my hydro is on cooldown. I'm not sure if there are Maya torps in the way. Let's see if I can go unspotted for a second, maybe behind this island. If the uh, if the planes are are going to bugger off, yeah, okay, so I'm unspotted. So if the carrier hasn't been paying attention to where I was my last position, friendly carrier gets his plane shut down hard, and Maya is running for it. So I should be relatively safe over here. I'm just going to wait out the torpedo bombers. Let's see if he's going for me again. And it looks like he is. Defensive AA up. Uh, come the torpedo bombers. I've got her in reverse. Full turn. So I can turn into those torps. I'm probably going to take one here. Not sure I can turn out in time. And yeah, I think I took one there, but that's okay. Survived that one and shot a couple more planes down. There come the dive bombers. Now I do have to get lucky because although my, my damage cone is almost off cooldown again, and my defensive AA just, just went out, but uh, no fires, and they missed. Okay, got lucky. But even without the defensive AA, I get to shot, shoot a couple more planes down. Now, NC is pushing. Uh, we are 100 points ahead. Um, I, I don't want to push at this point. I mean, the enemy destroyer is in our cup. And I don't think he has time to cup us, um, to cup us out. Yeah, I, I'm going to stay with you. The problem is, um, I, I don't really want to push. We don't need to push. We're 100 points ahead. I mean, we might lose the carrier, but that's not worth 100 points. And um, we are, you're on, okay, you're on about half health, under half health. I'm on, I'm almost dead. Okay, yeah, cargo kills the Lexington. We're 10 points ahead. That's fine. We don't need to push. There's 50 seconds left. 
Um, why are we pushing? <laughs> are, we try are we trying to win harder? So unfortunately, oh, there comes the Maya. And um, I do have the defensive AA up, but even without the Hydro, there come the torpedoes. And he's ambushed uh, the, no the North Cal and he's taken out the North Cal. So I need, I have to kill the Maya, but it's not going to be enough. Because that was a battleship and a cruiser is, is not worth as much as a battleship and we were only 10 points ahead and I'm surviving on 1900 hit points <laughs> uh, and I shoot a couple more planes down but um, now we are now we're even on points and at this point all I can do is run <laughs> because I don't think the carrier gets another strike off at me if the carrier had killed me if I hadn't killed the Maya we would have lost if the carrier had killed me we would have lost so uh, this was a bit of a uh, <laughs> with clenched cheeks let's say and I do get uh, a clear sky in in a bottom tier light cruiser and we end up getting getting the draw so you can you can absolutely stand up against an enterprise a tier 8 premium carrier and still come out second in the team and still shoot down more aircraft than a tier 8 American battleship so um, well well done to the enemy team um, and to our team, we ended up with a draw. In this second battle, again, we are uh, bottom tier, but there are not that many top tier ships. There's only a Tirpitz, a West Virginia, a Ranger, it's tier seven, and a Kagero. And uh, the Kagero we do have to watch out for because they know what they're doing. And I don't, I don't have radar. I have hydro, but the range isn't the same, obviously, as on a radar. Right then, uh, let's, let's do this. Haven. We've recently talked about Haven. <laughs> So let's see what our team's getting getting themselves up to. In terms of leagues, I'd say we're pretty much even. So we want A and we want to take A and B at this point, and um, the hardest bit's going to be to convince the rest of the team to actually uh, congregate, congregate there. So I'm trying. I'm calling out. Say B, please, please capture B, and I'm going to head towards B because Jervis can take A if he is. I'm just going to switch over to the armor piercing because I am suspecting that we may see an enemy destroyer. And I'm going to give air cover to the Jervis. And we've got Zara there as well. Okay, Zara goes A, so Jervis can go B. Perfect, perfect. This is exactly what we want. So I'm going to give air cover to Jervis just in case he gets uh, the carrier comes over here. But it looks like the carrier is going straight ahead into, um, into the AA and for our carrier, maybe. So I don't know why he does that, but okay. And as expected, there comes the Kagero. Now remember the Kagero, dangerous player. But um, also remember, you should not be in this cup at all. So obviously Kagero at this point is going to have to uh, drop torpedoes. So I'm, I'm, I'm turning in. And the carrier does the exact right thing and goes for the... Uh, no, he doesn't. Does he go for the Kagero? I thought he was going for the Kagero. No, no, he's, he's, he's dropping the Algeri back there. Okay. There come the Kagero torps. Uh, might be taking one or can I dodge in between these two? No, I can dodge in between these two. And now we've we've bullied the Kagero out. Uh, the Jervis unfortunately hasn't followed us. That would have been nice. But um, there, okay, there is an Algerie. So uh, I'll put it in reverse. I just want B cup. And uh, we've got a battleship coming in. Um, just trying the armor piercing against Algerie, but um, at this at this range, I'm I'm reversing. So most of his shots are hitting are hitting my bows here, and I don't think he's he's really doing full pens with the AP either. So um, Zara's coming in, and uh, yeah, he, he's not doing a huge amount of damage. And I've got a fire on him. It's damage on a single fire. Uh, I'm just going to heal up. But uh, okay, the Kagero down, now does the right thing. And now, um, okay, with with uh, with the Zara shooting at Kagero, there comes Mahan. Okay, Mahan decides that two cruisers in this cup is something he wants to he wants to tangle with. Okay, Mahan, let's do this then. Um, okay. Is he having smoke ready? No. So I'm gonna go in for a tactical beach here, and uh, let's see, let's see who survives longer. Uh, you on, <laughs> you on relatively low health, or yeah, there come the torpedoes. But how many do you think I'm gonna take? Because I'm gonna turn around, so I'm gonna take two maybe. Uh, no, just get through, just take one. Okay, and the man is dead. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was trying to achieve here, but um, I would call that suicide by cruiser. So we've got the mayhem cleared up with rest of first kill. Uh, we are holding, we are holding the two caps and um, that we're supposed to be holding. And the team, the, uh, we're currently battling it out around, around the um, around the C cup. Meanwhile, the Jervis seems to be trying to commit suicide by cruiser as well. But um, there's Kagro. Okay, uh, Kagro. My hydro is off cooldown. 
But I don't want to get too close because that cargo player knows what he's doing. He might rush me and he can survive long enough to rush me. So Hydro up just in case. Yeah, I don't. I know I could Hydro you in your in your smoke, but um, I don't want to get too close because I haven't seen any of your torps yet. So I don't want to rush that thing. I'm just blind firing into the smoke at this point and it's waiting for the torpedoes. Okay, there comes the first cargo drop. Now Cargo has three three spreads. I don't know if he had only one, if he only had one available, but he's firing his guns now, so it looks like he may have only had the one available. Okay, where are you? There you are. Hello. And um, now, now I'm gonna go and push him out from that smoke because his smoke should be about to expire. Yeah, there he goes. Uh, a couple more hits. And I think the, there's another cruiser coming around the other end of the side of the island. So unless the Zara gets herself blocked by that battleship over there, uh, we're going to sandwich the Kagura between us. So the Kagura is now very dead. And we seem to have somewhat cleaned up around C Cup. So I am... Can I get the kill on the Kagura? A couple of shots out. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. Zara takes him out. But Zara obviously now gives is a point-blank range on that battleship. That's the enemy carrier. Oh, how does it look? Okay, we are one ship ahead. Yeah, the West Virginia has taken out the Zara. The Zara. I'm going to grab C Cup just to be safe because I don't know what that battleship up there is doing and if we're going about to lose our carrier. But I'm going to grab C Cup. Uh, back to the high explosive, obviously. And then um, we'll see that we deal with that battleship there. Okay, so West Virginia, Tier 7 premium battleship. Uh, not the greatest. Uh, the, I'm not sure about the accuracy of that thing. I'm not going to use my defensive AA quite yet. I'm just waiting for the torpedo bombers. But um, I'm still shooting some planes down. Not the greatest accuracy of that thing. Maybe if it's a if it's a Colorado class, but um, or the same class as the Colorado. But uh, we've got a carrier on low health, so uh, he's in range. So I'm I'm just going to go rear towards the battleship. So at this range, I don't think he can do too much to me. And now I'm going to use the defensive AA against these uh, torpedo bombers, but um, it looks like they're not even oh, they're not even going for me. Okay, oh well then. And the carrier, I think at this point, is trying to get behind the island, but yeah, this you're not going to escape. So the carrier needs to die, because I am on relatively low health and I am getting the occasional shots in from the West Virginia. But I'm I'm staring in towards the the battleship, and the ranger is dead, and uh, the Amagi takes up the turrets. Okay, well done. So we were never in danger anyway. And now, well, what do you do if you're out of heals and you're down to 12,000 hit points and you're in a light cruiser and you're up against a premium battleship? Well, um, keep your distance, <laughs> pretty much. You don't want to get too close to this thing. You just want to be round about in firing range and try to set him on fire. So um, shots out and I'm just I'm just constantly weaving. I'm never, I'm never uh, sailing a straight course. Okay, he takes two fires from the dive bombers. Yeah, damage cons then, so now the damage cons on cooldown, so we're going to have to wait for a little bit. But um, I am just uh, varying my course constantly, uh, my speed a little bit, just to throw him off. And um, oftentimes when you want to dodge shells, it's easier to see them coming when you're actually zoomed out. So I'm going to see if I can still get a fire on him. But um, uh, now, I'm, now I'm behind the island, so I don't think he can get shots at me. And anyway, I'm turning in, so any shots, shots he might have would have been splashing kind of behind me. Uh, that's what you want to do. You want to move the ship. Can I lob this? No, can't lob this. Uh, you want to move the ship. You want to to wiggle around as much as you can, and um, n don't yeah try. If you, you you can give broadside temporarily, if you're confident that you're actually able to dodge the shots. So now I'm kiting away from him again, and pulling putting her straight, pulling a little bit to the other side, and just generally getting shots in. Now the battle is going to run out before I can kill this thing. But um, again, turning away, and you see these shots, they're falling short, one of them hit. Okay, a couple more hits, but uh, nothing catastrophic. Yeah, so this, this is a way you can deal with, um, with battleships if you're in a bottom tier. Tech tree, free light cruiser. Um, I mean, uh, we would have killed him eventually, but uh, anyway. Um, so we did come out on top here, and uh, that worked out pretty nicely. Now for that final battle, I have um, a Richelieu, a Scharnhorst, a Belfast, and a Sims on the enemy team. Uh, so, and we do have a fair amount of premiums of our own. And we're bottom tier, and we're in a light cruiser, so what can we do? Okay, we're playing Cage. So, um, the uh, it's, it's cross spawn, which means we want to go to A, because that's our safe cup. And then maybe we can use some island cover to, uh, to get some shots off. Because one of the things you can do in the Brooklyn, 
is you can actually shoot from stealth. And the way you do that is by putting an island that you can shoot over, but that you cannot be seen over between yourself and the enemy team. So sailing forwards over into A cup and give the, well, no air cover for the Sims and there are two cruisers. So I'm not sure I can do too many, uh, too much about that, but I just want to get kind of over here so such that I can use this island if I need to uh, as some hard cover in case we're getting tr into trouble. Okay, Sims captures A, which is again our safe cup, and heads straight for, okay, that, that just smoked up, that must have been the Belfast. No, it didn't smoke, just came behind. Okay, it is the Belfast. Now it smokes. <laughs> so, um, Belfast, light cruiser, I'm gonna try the armor piercing a little bit and see what we can do. He sits in his smoke. Uh, is he moving forward? It's, it's hard to judge, but we'll just shoot at the last puff of smoke because if he's not firing, now he, okay, so he moved out of his smoke. But now Shanhos, so back to the um, back to the high explosive, and there's uh, our friendly Shanhos. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna keep that Shanhos between myself and the other Shanhos, and see if I can just land some fire support because we don't want fair fights. <laughs> so fire out and see if he's actually targeting me. That's a double fire. Yes, of course he's targeting me because why wouldn't he target me? Why would you target the dangerous thing in front of you? But he's on double fire. He's not damage conning. So either he's given up or, but he's in my secondary range and the Brooklyn has an, has a blistering array of guns, really. She's got 15 mains and a good set of secondaries. So don't underestimate the firepower of this thing. Obviously I'm getting, I'm getting hit here by the Sharnos because I'm way too close with 4.6 kilometers. But um, yeah, I'm not sure what he was trying to do there, but he's now very, very dead. And the Sims is joining the party as well. And uh, our friendly, our friendly Scharnhorst is taking him out. So that's one down, which means A Cup is secure and there's another battleship. Now this, given how he's positioned, that could be the Richelieu, but uh, we'll have to take a closer look and see what's going on. So I'm once, uh, nope, it's a King George. Okay, so King George V. So we're gonna have to try and help out again, but there's a Benson and an almost full has Scharnhorst. They should be able to deal with the King George. I'm actually going to head towards the center because we've just lost the hood on our side and um, that destroyer of us is sailing extremely close to that cruiser over there. So while I'm, while I'm sending shots over at the King George, I am going to head towards B Cup because there's also a Belfast around somewhere there. And uh, there's the other battleship, so that... No, there are three still, so I, don't, I still don't know which one is the Richelieu. But uh, B is getting capped, we're not, we're on, uh, no one's holding C right now. But uh, we might be losing more ships over there, so I do need to get I do need to get myself into into B cup. So I'm on 19,000 hit points. I want to brawl the Belfast. Problem: there's a battleship on my left, and it's top tier. Probably. Uh, let's see what that is. Uh, I know that the Belfast is in B, and I can't see him, so he's right behind the island. Okay, there he, he was poking out for a second. Okay, it's the Richelieu, so I do need to be very careful here that I'm not getting I'm not getting blocked by the Richelieu. And, but I do want that Belfast dead, because uh, while we are ahead in ships, um, never know. But it looks like the, the, other, uh, the, the enemy group over there has, has worked out. Okay, so Belfast, no torpedoes, is firing high explosive at me. I can dodge under his shots. Um, I, have got, I, I am taking a little bit of damage, but I, I don't even need to use the Hydra. I could use the Hydra at this point to spot him in the smoke, but I don't need to. I see exactly where he is, because he's sitting broadside on there and is firing at me. Hello. <laughs> So, um, yeah, now, 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 now what? <laughs> yes, you have 12 guns, but you're still firing high explosive at me, which isn't going to do anything. Uh, the Richelieu, obviously, is, is taking aim at me and is trying to kill me. But I want that Belfast killed, and I want that cut back if I can. But uh, I'm on 4,000 health, and I'm, my, my heal is, is on cooldown, so I do need to get out of here. But I can still kill the Belfast. Okay, that thing's gone. Uh, yeah, don't underestimate the armor piercing on the Brooklyn. Okay, Richelieu. Now back to high explosive. I'm gonna go for a tactical beach and see if I can get him to overshoot. And just show my tail. So let's get some shots out. He should be, yeah, there comes the shot. Okay, beach, turn in. And yep, they're all overshot. Okay, now the problem is I can only do this once because now he should have realized what's, what I'm doing and should, have been act should be actually aiming properly. So I can heal up a little bit, but um, this next salvo is probably going to kill me. If he's still firing at me. Yes, he's firing at me. But uh, the Cleveland goes and says, Get down, Mr. President, and takes the hit instead of me. So I'm actually surviving. <laughs> well done. Thank you, Cleveland. Um, 
but uh, yeah, now I'm I am trying very hard to get out of here, but I am probably dead if I'm unlucky. Unless the Richelieu decides that he doesn't want to shoot at me anymore. And he's still shooting at me. Of course he's shooting at me. And he overshot. And I'm on 900 health. This is fine. <laughs> I'm out of heals, but uh, that's this is fine. Okay, so now we can just um, we can just burn down the Richelieu. I mean, he is on fire. He's on triple fire, so I'm switching over to the armor piercing because uh, at this range I might actually do some damage to him. But he's probably dead before I can reload. So uh, yeah, there he goes. Whew. But yes, um, you are not helpless. Just because you're bottom tier and you're faced with things like Richelieu's, Roma's, Enterprises, uh, West Virginia's, and, uh, and and all these kind of things, right? You can still, like, you're probably not going to come out on top of the team, but um, you 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 still do a good um, a good contribution to the success of the battle. So that's just kind of what I wanted to show. So if you've got any other situation or or, or ship where you say I'm really really struggling against all the premiums and against all the people who have spent money on the game and are are are, are, are kicking my butt. Uh, let me know and I'll I'll see if I can do another one. What to do without spending any money and that you can actually be successful even if you're bottom tier. That's it for today. Thanks everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.